Hang on, where is this? Are we in Toledo? Hello, Toledo, Ohio. Are you ready to party? Ready to All right, people, sorry for the silliness, but uh, it seemed appropriate to demo this one. This is a new feature. A couple people have been asking me about pushing me towards um, some ideas for live recording. And this one, uh, I think, is a really good one. This is basically clip recording. So as you're going through uh, a set or whatever else you want, you can hit a button, record a little bit, hit that button again, and play the thing you just recorded. Uh, and it's very set up to be used in a live context. So this is a setup video to show you all how to use it because I know a lot of people can make better stuff than what uh, I can with this, and I would love to see it. So, um, all right, quick setup. Here's uh, started up Ableton. I'm gonna get rid of these two MIDI tracks real quick, and then drop Scratch Track on number two. Uh, opened in the wrong window. Give me a second. Okay, here's Scratch Track. Now, this little button here is the new one, uh, an Arm Record. As soon as you click that, you'll notice all of these turn to little record buttons. If I were to click one of them, it would start recording. Whoa, cool, but now there's nothing there to record yet, so let me get rid of it. Uh, just like Live Mode, which we looked at uh, in a couple of videos ago, this records whatever's coming in on uh, inputs three and four. Okay, uh, that's because inputs one and two are the time code that you use to control this, right? Uh, not everybody does that. Some people use a MIDI controller like we did in this video, but nonetheless, um, it's three and four that uh, audio has to come in on. Now that confuses a lot of people. You gotta route the audio and in Ableton, in this case, what we do is here we have the, uh, this is the microphone. I'm going to monitor the input, but instead of sending it to master and getting this horrendous echo, I'm going to send it to second track, which is where which is where scratch track is, and the live in, which is inputs three and four. As soon as I do that, go back to scratch track, and now you see the input, right? Okay, we got input. Now the thing we looked at last uh, last week, a couple videos ago, was live, live input. input. Oh boy, let's turn this down. Live input where you immediately see it just start recording and screaming. Now you can scratch here, hit the sync button to jump up to the front, uh, but that's not ideal for everyone. So we're gonna turn off live input and I'll show you another way to do this. The other way to do this kills that throughput or keeps it from doing any throughput. Uh, but as soon as I start recording, oh, delete what's in there. As soon as I start recording, there you see my voice. As I start recording, there you see my voice. Yeah, pretty simple. Uh, now, because these can also be MIDI learned, right? Um, this is a kind of a magic little key, the launch key. Uh, once you learn the launch key, it's nice because I can hit record, I can hit the same button to stop record, and then hit the same button again to play. I can even hold that button, record, and after three seconds, it will delete whatever's there. So this works a lot like uh, well, like a lot of live loopers work this way. Uh, this is not in loop mode. There actually is a loop mode here if you wanted to record lo loops. Um, right now, I, th I suspect that's broken because uh, of some of these other changes I've made, but it'll be fixed again in a couple weeks. So, record, record, there record. You go. Come up with some goofy thing to say. Uh, I was down by the river looking for Jesus. Looking for Jesus. For Jesus. Watch this now. Look, 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 for looking for Jesus. Yeah, there's another thing that we like, uh, this pitch shifter over here. So once you record something, of course, you can just pitch it down, uh, pitch it up. You can get some nice effects that way. Uh, there's also effects chains and everything else in here, but you know, a lot of you just will probably just do that in the DAW. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's the that's the uh, long and short of it. That's the quick tour around how to record clips. Hope you all dig it. Yeah.
Yep, yep, yep. 